Okay, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to do a paired samples t-test uh, in SPSS. So we'll just bring up our data. Uh, so this is our data here. Uh, and what you're looking at is the results for 10 participants uh, in two trials. In one trial, they've done a rowing, a 2,000 meter rowing time trial, uh, having had breakfast. And then we've got a trial here where they haven't had breakfast. So we're basically comparing rowing time trial performance with and without breakfast. So we've got paired data because we've got a set of participants who have done both of the trials in the study, so they've repeated both of the trials, so the data is paired. Um, and I've checked it and both of these data sets are normally distributed. So the choice of test is, in this case, a paired samples t-test. So in order to do the test, then what we do is we're going to come up to this menu here, Analyze, and we're going to come to Compare Means, and we're going to select the paired samples t-test. That's going to bring up a menu like this and all we have to do here is this is asking for us to define the pair of variables that we want to compare using the t-test. So we're going to bring up our performance trial with breakfast and we want to compare that with the no breakfast trial. There's nothing to select in terms of the options or the bootstrapping option so we can avoid even uh, going into those menus. So we're just going to hit OK. And that's going to do our paired samples t-test for us. So as with uh, other tests, then you're going to get a lot of numbers. Uh, and you just need to know where to look on these boxes to find the numbers that we're interested in. So the first box that you can see here is our paired sample statistics. So what was calculated for, what LSPSS has calculated for us, is the means for each of the trials. So this is the mean for the breakfast trial and the mean for the no breakfast trial. We've got the number of uh, participants included in each of those trials. We've got the standard deviation and we've got the standard error of the mean. This box here is correlations between the variables. We're not really interested in that. And then we've got the paired samples test uh, results. And the one that we're really interested in here is our p-value. So again, in SPSS, p-value is noted by this significance uh, box. And you can see here that I've got a p-value of 0 0.016. And that's lower than 0 0.05. So in this case, we would reject the null hypothesis. And we'd say that there is a difference in performance between the breakfast and the no breakfast trials. Other information to be interested in here is this box here, which is the mean. And this is the mean difference between the trials. So this is the difference between the performance in the breakfast trial and the no breakfast trial. And then we've given the standard deviation of the difference as well. So the two the three numbers that we're kind of interested in uh, in this box are the, the mean difference, the standard deviation of the difference, and then our significance value or our p-value here. Okay, and that's how to do a paired samples t-test in SPSS.